Hey all, this is your Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation. So we are given a differential equation x into 4y dx plus 2x dy plus y cube into 3y dx plus 5x dy equal to 0. Right? Here you are having x. We can write this x as x into 1. Write x as x power 1 and this 1 as y power 0 since y power 0 equal to 1. So that you will have two variables here x and y. So we can write x as x power 1 into y power 0 into the terms under brackets. Plus here you are having y cube right y cube as 1 into y cube. Just replace this 1 by x power 0 since x power 0 equal to 1 so that you will have two variables here x and y right. So just write y cube as x power 0 into y cube into terms under brackets. So this equation is of the form x power a y power b into my dx plus nx dy plus x power c y power d into py dx plus qx dy equal to 0. Since the given differential equation can be written in this form, so here x power alpha and y power beta will be our integrating factor. Also, we can write the given differential equation in m dx plus n dy equal to 0 form. And here we are going to get non-exact. Okay. Now coming to the problem. Given differential equation. X times 4y dx plus 2x dy plus y cube into 3y dx plus 5x dy equal to 0 consider it as equation number 1. Also we can write this equation as 4xy dx plus 2x squared dy plus 3y power 4 dx plus 5xy cube dy equal to 0. Now write the terms involving dx firstly and then dy. So, I will begin with dx now. 4x dx plus 3y power 4 dx. Let's now write the terms involving dy. Right? Now, take dx common from the first two terms. You will get 4xy plus 3y power 4 into dx plus 2x square plus 5xy power y cube into dy equal to 0, right? Which is of m dx plus n dy equal to 0 form. Where m equal to 4xy plus 3y power 4 and n equal to 2x square plus 5xy cube. If partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is exact. So let's find the partial derivatives of m and n. We have m. 4xy plus 3y power 4. Since it is partial derivative with respect to y, so x is treated as constant. You will get 4x into dou y dou y of y plus 3 constant 3 into dou y dou y of y power 4. Which gives us 4x into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 plus 3 into partial derivative of y power 4 with respect to y is 4y cube. We will get 4x plus 3 fours are 12 y cube. So this is the result obtained for partial derivative of m with respect to y. 
let's now find partial derivative of n with respect to x is equals to dou by dou x of n 2x square plus 5x y cube right since it is since we are finding partial derivative with respect to x here so y is treated as constant so you'll get or you can write the above expression as partial derivative of x square with respect to x plus 5y cube constant into partial derivative of x with respect to x. This gives us 2 into partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x plus 5y cube into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 which gives us 2 to the 4x plus 5y cube. By observing these two we can say that partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. So this shows that 1 is not exact. Right? The given differential equation is not exact. Now coming to equation 1. As we discussed earlier, we can write x as x power 1 into y power 0 into 4y dx plus 2x dy plus y cube can be written as x power 0 into y cube into 3y dx plus 5x dy equal to 0, right? Which is of the form. x power a y power b into m y dx plus n x dy plus x power c y power d into p y dx plus q x dy equal to 0. Right. Where a equal to 1, b equal to 0 c equal to 0, d equal to 3. Just comparing, by comparing these two equations, we'll get the values of constants. m equal to 4, n equal to 2, p equal to 3, and q equal to 5. Since the given differential equation is of this form, so here, x power alpha and y power beta will be the integrating factor. Let x power alpha y power beta be the integrating factor. Now we need to find alpha and beta. Let's find alpha and beta using some formula. A plus alpha plus 1 by m equal to b plus beta plus 1 by n and c plus alpha plus 1 by p equal to d plus beta plus 1 by q. Now substitute the values. We'll get a1 plus alpha plus 1 by m4 equal to b0 plus beta plus 1 by n2. This gives us Alpha plus 2 by 4 equal to beta plus 1 by 2 or alpha plus 2 equal to 4 times beta plus 1 by 2. You'll get alpha plus 2 equal to 2 beta plus 2 or we can write this as alpha minus 2 beta plus 2 minus 2 equal to 0 which gives us alpha minus 2 beta equal to 0. Consider as equation number a. Now substitute the values of C, D, P and Q here. We will get 0 plus alpha plus 1 by P 3 equal to D. 3 plus beta plus 1 by Q 5. Or alpha plus 1 by 3 equal to beta plus 4 by 5. Or we can write this as 5 times alpha plus 1 equal to 3 times beta plus 4 which gives us 5 alpha plus 5 equal to 3 beta plus 12 or 
फाइव आल्फा माइनस थ्री बीटा प्लस फाइव माइनस ट्वेल्व इक्वल टू जीरो विच गिवस एस फाइव आल्फा माइनस थ्री बीटा माइनस सेवन इक्वल टू जीरो और वी कैन राइट दिस एस फाइव आल्फा माइनस थ्री बीटा इक्वल टू सेवन कंसीडर एस इक्वेशन बी नो बाय सॉल्विंग ए एंड बी विल गेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ आल्फा एंड बीटा Now observe the terms involving alpha. Here we have alpha. Here we have five alpha. In order to cancel alpha, we need a five here. So multiply five to this equation. We'll get five alpha minus five to the ten beta equal to zero. Equation B remains the same. You'll get by solving these two, we'll get minus ten beta plus three beta is minus. 7 beta equal to minus 7, which gives us beta equal to minus 7 by 7, which is 1. Therefore, beta equal to 1. Now substitute this beta, I mean the value of beta, in equation A. We have equation A, alpha minus 2 beta equals to 0, or we can write this as alpha equal to 2 beta. Now substitute the value of beta, which is 1. This gives us the value of alpha, which is two. Therefore, alpha equal to two and beta equal to one. We have alpha equal to two, beta equal to one, right? Then the integrating factor becomes. X power alpha y power beta equal to x power two y power one, right? Or x square into y. Therefore, x square into y is the integrating factor to our problem. Now, multiplying. One by integrating factor x square into y gives x square into y into the given equation x times four y dx plus two x dy plus y cube into three y dx plus five x dy equal to zero. We can write this as x square y into 4x y dx plus 2x square dy plus 3y power 4 dx plus 5x y cube dy equal to zero. Now multiply the integrating factor. You'll get 4 x square into x is x cube. Y into y, y square dx plus two x square into x square x power four into y dy plus three x square y power four into y is y power five dx plus five x square into x is x cube y into y cube is y power four into dy equal to zero. Right now. Take dx common from these two terms. We'll get 4x cube y square plus 3x square y power 5 into dx plus. Now take dy common from these two terms. We'll get 2x power 4y plus 5x cube y power 4 into dy equal to zero. Right? Consider it as equation number. Two, which is of the form here also. This is an m dx plus n dy form, which is of the form cm one dx plus n one dy equal to zero, where 
एम वन इक्वल टू फोर एक्स क्यूब वाई स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर वाई पॉ फाइव एंड एन वन इक्वल टू टू एक्स पॉ फोर वाई प्लस फाइव एक्स क्यूब वाई पॉ फोर इफ द पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एम वन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वाई इक्वल टू पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एन वन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स देन वी कैन से दैट द रेड्यूज इक्वेशन इक्वेशन टू इज एक्ट partial derivative of m1 with respect to y we have m1 4x cube y square plus 3x square y power 5 so here we are finding partial derivative with respect to y so x is treated as constant in the first term 4x cube is constant in the second term 3x square is constant right so we can write this as 4x cube into partial derivative of y square with respect to y plus constant into partial derivative of y power 5 with respect to y right this gives us 4x cube into partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y plus 3x square into partial derivative of y power 5 with respect to y is 5y power 4 which gives us 4 to the 8 x cube y plus 3 pi is of 15 x square y power 4 therefore partial derivative of m1 with respect to y equal to 8 x cube y plus 15 x square y power 4 let's now find partial derivative of n1 with respect to x do by do x of n1 2 x power 4 y Plus 5x cube y power 4, which gives us here this partial derivative. We need to find partial derivative with respect to x. So here y is treated as constant in the first term. 2y is constant in the second term. 5 y power 4 is constant. You'll get, or you can write the above expression as 2y into partial derivative of x power 4 with respect to x plus 5 y power 4 into partial derivative of x cube with respect to x this gives us 2y into partial derivative of x power 4 with respect to x is 4x cube plus 5y power 4 into partial derivative of x cube with respect to x is 3x square which gives us 2 4s are 8 x cube y plus 5 3s are 15 x square y power 4 Therefore, partial derivative of n1 with respect to x is 8x cube y plus 15x square y power 4. Right? So by observing these two, we can say that partial derivative of m1 with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x equal to 8x cube y plus 15x square y power 4. Which is nothing but equation two is exact. Therefore, equation two is exact. Now let's solve equation two to find the general solution to our problem. The general solution to equation two is given by. integral m1 dx treating y as constant plus integral terms of n1 free from x into dy equal to c okay let's now find integral separately or evaluate integral separately i'll begin with integral m1 dx treating y as constant this equals to integral m1 4x cube y square plus 3x square y power 5 into dx since here y is treated as constant in the first term y square is constant 4 is constant in the second term 3 and y power 5 is constant so we can write this as 4y square integral x cube dx 
plus 3y power 5 into integral x squared dx which gives us 4y square into integral x cubed dx is x power 4 by 4 plus 3y power 5 into integral x square dx is x cubed by 3. 4 gets cancelled and 3 gets cancelled. This gives us x power 4y square plus x cube y power 5. So the result obtained from the first integral is x power 4y square plus x cube y power 5. Now coming to the second integral. Integral terms of n1 free from x into dy. So observe n1, we having 2x power 4y plus 5x cube y power 4. Do we have terms which are free from x here? We don't have any terms which are free from x because both the terms involves x, right? So this equals to 0. So the result obtained from the second integral is 0 because we don't have any terms of n1 which are free from x. So the second integral is 0. Now coming to the solution to equation 2. Result obtained from the first integral is x power 4 y square plus x cube y power 5 plus result obtained from the second integral is 0 equal to c which gives us x power 4 y square plus x cube y power 5 equal to c which is the required solution or Take x cube from common from these two terms and y square common from these two terms, right? Or x cube y square common simply. Then you'll get x plus y cube equal to c. That is x cube y square of x plus y cube. C. x cube y square into x gives x power 4 y square plus x cube y square into y cube gives x cube y power 5. Therefore, x power 4 y square plus x cube y power 5 equal to c or x cube y square of y x plus y cube equal to c is the required solution to our problem. Okay. So we have seen a problem from differential equation in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.